In today's video, we're doing some simple grilled skinless chicken breasts on the Oklahoma Joe's Bronco Drum Smoker. Hey, this is Ricer from Dead Broke Barbecue of Wisconsin and welcome back to the channel. But if you're new here, we try to help you enhance and amplify your backyard barbecue fun. In today's video, I'm doing some simple grilled skinless chicken breasts on the Oklahoma Joe's Bronco Drum Smoker. Now, I always tell everybody you should do chicken first, and that's what I did. And these chicken breasts turned out fantastic. Now, grilling on the Oklahoma Joe's Bronco is simple as can be. All you gotta do is just adjust that deflector plate, and then you can get that charcoal closer up to that grate. So grab a yard bird and your favorite rub, Ryan. We're gonna do up some simple grilled skinless chicken breasts on the Oklahoma Joe's Bronco Drum Smoker. So today we're doing some simple grilled skinless chicken breasts on the Oklahoma Joe's Bronco Drum Smoker. And the rubs that I'm using today are from Butcher Barbecue. We're using the Grilling Addiction and the Sweet Chipotle. So let's get these chicken breasts seasoned up. We're gonna start off with just our Grilling Addiction and get a little bit out there. Tap this in a little bit. Now you don't need a lot of seasoning on chicken breast. The white meat really absorbs a lot of flavor. Now we'll go ahead and put on our sweet chipotle. This I put on a little heavier. And like always, tap them in. We're not using any binders or anything like that, but let's go ahead and flip these over. And now we'll go ahead and get some grilling addiction on the back side. This side I typically put a little bit more. This is up against the breast bones. And there's some nooks and crannies in there that I like to try to get a little bit of the flavor to drop down in it. And finish up with our Chipotle. Now today's video is sponsored by Wines Till Sold Out or WTSO. They get wines from all across the globe. And over at WTSO's website, they have specials where you get 30 to 70% off. Now if you use my promo code BBQ20, you're gonna save yourself $10 on any purchase of $50 or more. Now that's a great deal. And at WTSO, they're changing bottles daily. So you'll be able to find your favorite one and some new ones. So head on over to WTSO and tell them Ricer sent you. You're gonna love it. All right, while these skinless chicken breasts set and sweat, let's go out and get the Oklahoma Joe's Bronco fired up. All right, we're out by the Bronco and now let's get this charcoal basket filled up. Start off by taking, open up the lid and we're gonna take off this cooking rack and just hang it right there. We're gonna pull out our heat deflector, pull out our charcoal basket, and now we're gonna go ahead and set up our Bronco for grilling. And we take the heat deflector, it's set like this when you're smoking, but now we're grilling. So we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna go ahead and put it in and we set it right here. All right, and then we'll go ahead, get some charcoal in it. And we're not filling it all the way up. This is more than enough to do a little bit of chicken breast on the grill. We'll go ahead and put in our charcoal basket right on top. I'm just going to scoop out a few briquettes and we're going to put in our chimney. So I took out about a three quarter in this small little chimney. I don't want to get this screaming hot because I want to cook these chicken breasts a little slower, but I also don't want to wait forever. We're not smoking them, we're grilling them, but we're still going to end up getting a decent hot cooking temperature so it isn't gonna take that long. And I haven't done it this way. I'm kind of experimenting, but I'm kind of going off from another type of cooker that I've had in the past. And this is how I did it on that one. So you can kind of see right here, this is how much of the charcoal, and this is what I've got remaining in the charcoal basket. Now I'll go ahead and put my grate on, take a couple wax cubes, light them up. Then we'll go ahead and put our chimney right on top of it. And now we're just gonna wait about 10 to 15 minutes until this charcoal is burning nice and clean. Once it starts ashing over on the top of them, they're ready to dump in. Now obviously this is a great moment while we're waiting for our charcoal to start ashing over to go ahead and open up this bottle of Rosa Champagne. And plus, I wanna say a huge thank you to all of you for becoming a subscriber. We hit over 6,000 just a couple days ago, and it's incredible. Thank you very much, and I appreciate you joining the Dead Broke Barbecue family. So let's have some celebration. You know, you gotta peel off the gold, and then it's got one of these fancy deals here, keeping the pressure on, you know, get the cap off. And now, 
for the moment that you've all been waiting for. Oh, that's a party in this bottle. All right, everybody. Cheers. Thank you very much. And this is seriously a party in a bottle. We're gonna be celebrating all night long. You know, the great thing with charcoal is you can kind of wait a little bit longer in case you're still thirsty. And I'm still thirsty. <laughs> Back in the nose. All right, so our charcoal's burning pretty clean and it's starting to ash over. Let's get it in that charcoal basket so we can get this whole thing lit up. Okay, so let's just go ahead and grab our charcoal chimney. We're gonna pull this grate off. Okay, let's start dumping it in. And we're just gonna try to keep it more in the center, but spread it out a little bit. We want the rest of these to get going. Now, obviously I'm gonna make sure that I put my charcoal chimney a little bit of ways away from me, because if I bump into this with my ankle, I'm gonna get burnt. So we'll just set it way back here. Little contaminants, get those off there. And we'll put our grate in, and then we're gonna go ahead and close up the lid and give it about 10 minutes just to start preheating because we want the rest of the charcoal to start catching on fire. And we wanna make sure that our dampeners are wide open and then we're just gonna give it a little time and then we'll go ahead and open it up and put on the chicken. And today I'm gonna to use my Thermalworks signals. I'm gonna use one of these meat probes and one of those chicken breasts just to give myself an idea where I'm at as we're cooking these. I mean, we certainly don't wanna overcook these chicken breasts. We wanna keep them nice and juicy. So I wanna cook these right at about 162-ish degrees and then I'm gonna pull them and let them rest and by then they'll be at 165 and they're gonna be delicious. It's been about 10 minutes and our temperature says about 225 degrees and that's actually where I kinda wanna start these. I don't wanna overpower them. We're gonna start them out low. Now we'll open up the lid and check out the charcoal and see how it's doing. Okay, it's not looking that bad. Could be spread out a little better, but hey, this'll work. We're hungry, let's get these chicken breasts on. We'll just start putting them on. This one, we don't got a lot of room, but we'll squish them together. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and put in one of my meat probes and let's just go, eh, let's just hit somewhere right around there. And we're gonna wanna make sure that we don't pinch off this cord, but there is this nice seal there. You know, they don't get squished or get kinked. And now we'll close up the lid and set a timer for about five minutes and we're just gonna check these chicken breasts and see if it's getting right around 100, then I'm gonna flip them. And then we'll start cooking them on the other side. Now I'm gonna tell you right now, in between flips, champagne goes great as a celebration drink. I mean, really, Rosa Champagne? Mm. This is very thirst quenching. Try it. Gotta stay hydrated when you're doing barbecue. Okay, our five minute timer went off. Let's go ahead and open up the lid. Yeah, these are looking really good. We're gonna flip them over now. We got a little bit of char, which we like. That one's a little, little bit more than normal, but it's all right. We'll put this back into the air and close up the lid and set a timer for another five minutes. It's gonna get hot on you real quick. I'm actually gonna go ahead and turn my dampeners down. I don't need that much air, so I'm gonna turn them down to two. All right, so we're at about 160 degrees on these. I'm gonna go ahead and just put just a little bit of sauce on them just to give them that extra little zip. Open her up. And we're just gonna paint these on real quick. Now there is plenty of charcoal in here, so you can grill as many chicken breasts as you want. Well, we got that first side covered. Gotta grab a glove and flip them over. I'm gonna pull out our probe. Just gonna flip these over real quick. Give this back side a little bit of coating too. Now we'll just paint this back side just a little bit, just to give it that nice sheen, that barbecue sheen that we're looking for. Now obviously it's all gonna depend on where your charcoal's at as to how long it's gonna take you to do them, but typically about 10 minutes you can do some grilled chicken breasts. I'm gonna close up the lid and give these chicken breasts just about 30 seconds, just so that sauce can caramelize just a twitch. We just don't want it to go crazy, because it is sugar in that and it will burn if you leave them on too long. Plus, we're at about 163 degrees, time to get them off. Okay, my 30 seconds are done. I'm gonna go ahead and pull these off. We're gonna close up the lid and just let this charcoal burn out. But if you have other things to grill, go ahead and throw it on because you got plenty of charcoal in there for sure. You can do two batches, maybe even three. But we're gonna give these chicken breasts just a few minutes to rest and then we'll see you back in during the taste test. All right, let's dive into these chicken breasts. I'm excited and I can't wait. We'll just pick this one right here, make it easy. Look, that's some serious juice coming off of them. 
nice and juicy. I don't know if you can see that part of it, but there's a lot of moisture in these. Now this butcher barbecue combination is awesome. The grilling addiction along with the sweet chipotle, thumbs up in my opinion. Give it a whirl, especially on chicken breast. Mm, that's so good. I certainly gotta lop off another piece. Very tender with a little bit of a bark bite on it. Now the Bronco performed incredible. And look, it only took about a half an hour from start up to finish to get these done. That is a perfect time for you to do any type of backyard barbecue grilling for sure. And if you're watching and you have a Bronco, try this recipe. I guarantee you, you'll be very satisfied with it. But just remember, chicken breasts are done at 165 degrees. And if you pull them at right around 162, 163, by the time you sit down and eat them, they're gonna be at a perfect 165 degrees. And look at the juice that's in these. To all of you Dead Broke Barbecue subscribers, thanks for watching and leaving a comment and being involved in the community. I really appreciate it. So a big huge cheers to all my Dead Broke cronies. Here's to ya. Hey boys, run on down and get some more chicken breasts. We still got more charcoal in there. Let's grill up some more protein. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and become a subscriber. Turn on that notification bell because you don't want to miss my next video. I know you don't. Come on. So turn it on. What are you waiting for? Clicky. But I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you in the next video. This is heavy on a shoulder, especially when you're fat and old, and it's a bad shoulder. Oh, did that thing pop or what? All right. Damn your rag. I wasn't ready for that piss. <laughs> oh, God. God, this is so good. It washes everything down. So grab a yard bird and twist its neck and grab some rub, Brian. Oh my gosh. Really, Dickie? You gotta send me a message.